Once again, a huge thank you to all of our financial supporters. Uh, firstly, our supporters over at patreon.com forward slash 878 Survivor FM, all of our production managers. We cannot thank you all enough for your continued ongoing support. All of your names are there on the screen right now. A big shout out to our producer, Red Freedom. Mate, 18 months, you're an absolute mad lad. Cannot thank you enough. Also, we have to give a big shout out to all of our growing YouTube members, all of our new tier, the Emote Bandits, our existing tier, the 87.8 Survivors, uh, and a special shout out to our podcast bosses, whose names are again all on the screen right there. I cannot thank you all enough. Please keep up the support. It helps our show go on each and every week and we get to do great giveaways and our end of year Christmas episode is going to be an absolute cracker this year, folks. All the best and we hope you enjoy this week's show. Hello, everyone. Lad here with the team. Episode 127 of the Dizzy Podcast with a special guest appearance from Warble. How are you doing, Warble? I am doing fabulously. Fantastic. How are you? I am great. I, it's been a very long week, and I'm really, really happy to have you on the show. Cobra, Lemons. Lemons is actually here, guys, by the way. And uh, and Rath oh, is God. here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra, Lemons, how are you guys doing? Yeah, all good. Thank you, my end. Uh, good to see Wavo on the show. Looking forward to listening to what's got to say to us. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Mm. Oh, 100%. Absolutely. Yeah, not doing too bad. How about you, Lemons? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad at all. It's been a it's been a busy week. Um, so yeah, I I suppose we can go straight into like the elephant in the room, the the video that you posted in regards to the uh, the unintended game feature. <laughs> so I really want to pick your brains about it. How how did you even come across the um, the issue? with the um with with what you discussed in the video when i first joined uh doing daisy science again when it was uh, it was like two years ago august two years ago mm-hmm. uh 2020 i believe just when corona hit <laughs> uh i was testing out different armor and just by accident i had a test dummy set up with the plate carrier holding a plate carrier mm-hmm and I was shooting around to see if I could hit the hitbox of the uh, plate carrier because it looked like it was bugged like in one hand. Yeah. Uh, and I was shooting around and then I hit a hitbox and I was thinking that it's just the plate carrier that has this hitbox. And I thought this is going to make a fantastic video and I thought to myself, well if it's just a plate carrier and I can't find any of our hitboxes on anything else. Mm-hmm. So I'll just leave it as that, you know, I just, maybe I'll come back to it later, see if I can investigate. It could just be a bug with the plate carrier. Right. And then a few weeks ago, Cosmo came to me. Um, he's a fantastic bug reporter for the Daisy community. Okay. Uh, and he said that the metal plate in 1.19 was protecting people when they were when they were holding the metal plate. There was a hitbox on the side that was protecting people. And I went in just to test it out because uh, any any time someone comes to me with a theory on something, I'll test it out quickly. You, you've got to, yeah, exactly. <laughs> use and uh, the metal plate also had a hitbox on the side on the right side of the character and that gave me a flashback to the plate carrier and then i tested the plate carrier again and it was the same position as it was two years ago and then i just went on this wild you know scientific journey Mm -hmm. it was like uh you know um just got lost basically for several hours testing out loads of different things and how can I categorize this to show people what, what this is about right and I got to make sure that I know exactly what um what I'm saying before I put this out because it's it's, it's kind of game breaking actually it yeah it yeah. is it is when when I watched the video my jaw dropped <laughs> I was like are you kidding me like because there's been loads of reports over the years about <coughs> about situations like this, you know, with, with the you know the bullet protection, and I, I shot this guy clearly, and nothing happened or whatever else. This explains it. So, I assume using the the DX Diag tools mm-hmm. that came in one nineteen really really helped with with learning about the science behind it, learning how it works. Exactly, yeah, because the hand positions were shown. Mm-hmm. 
with the triangles. I'm not sure exactly how these triangles work uh, exactly to where the hand position is. I'm sure the devs know this. Mm -hmm. Well, but uh, if I, I think recall, the way they're connected is difficult. Yeah, yeah. Because if I if I recall correctly, um, each part of the body, like your legs, your hands, arms, torso, whatever, is a proxy. So I'd imagine that the, all those triangles are the proxy for the hands and then it's all attached via the skeleton and when something's attached on a proxy it can mess things up this is something that my friend Domgra told me about when you add proxy on a proxy it can mess things up so this is probably that case but your video kind of proved that a little bit which again jaw dropped and I was like this is great <laughs> this is bad but it's great yeah. So I think it's gonna it's gonna open things up for the devs to mm -hmm. hopefully work towards fixing this. I think. Absolutely. Have you all have you had any like correspondence from the devs from like not just this video but any of your other videos that you might have that you've covered that shows a, a bug or game breaking bug? No, I try to keep a distance from the developers because I think it's much healthier for the community if I do that. If I'm mm. if I've got some sort of inside mm. track to the developers, then it sort of puts me at a great yeah. advantage and also I can manipulate stuff and they can say don't post this and don't do that. Mm. Yeah. You know what? I actually so... really respect that. I really do. Yeah, yeah fair play. Mm. Cuz cuz that's the thing you've got a you got a large responsibility as you were saying. You want to make sure that the information you have is accurate, which so far it seems it. And I just watched your backpack video just before, and I'm still like, how? <laughs> how I is know. the tactical backpack? I'm the same way, like how? Stuff? It's crazy. It's just an oversight. I'm sure that it now it's been shown off and it's you know in front of the community to see, which I believe it should be out there, you know, for the player to gauge if this should be fixed or not and it certainly should i think oh absolutely definitely um i think that what they're going to do now is probably work on these proxies mm -hmm. um the first you know the first time i've heard a proxy was today and that was from dumgra on twitter oh well there you go <laughs> I, I don't know much about the skeleton or the proxies or the connections no. of the hands or anything like that yeah it's it's really like found like the modding knowledge of stuff mm -hmm. um I don't really understand all of it. I'll, I'd be lying if I was a, saying I was a professional in, in all that stuff. I'm just basically saying what Dumgrass told me. But I'm I'm really curious with you, obviously doing so much science and looking into stuff. Have you come across other stuff that you want to talk about or don't feel it's necessary to <coughs> talk about? Just stuff like that, or any surprise discoveries that you found from looking into this issue. Uh, not really. Nope. No, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> good. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> this this is about as far as the hitboxes <clears throat> issue goes for me. I'm going to be investigating more of the geometry, which is related to how bullets interact with the world in Daisy, and I'm going to see if um, there are other like inconsistencies or things that shouldn't be the way they are. <laughs> I recently tested bushes. Um, because you can now see the hitboxes for bushes. Yes. So I was testing that, and they seem to be working perfectly. So there's no issues with uh, bushes or anything like that. Uh, they might affect a bullet's trajectory slightly, mm -hmm. but I don't believe they're going to have a massive difference. I will test it more. I've got it on my list to test. Um, but at the moment, I've got a video planned for vehicles. So I'm going to be testing the geometry of vehicles. Um, because the hitboxes for engines are quite weird, and the yeah. hitboxes for glass as well. Like when you break a window in Daisy, it doesn't actually remove the hitbox, so the bullet will still be slowed down even though the window appears to be broken. So that's something I'm going to be hi highlighting. Ah, that's interesting. That is interesting. Oh. Yeah, it also means that you know if you break a window on a car, you'd expect a certain round to go through it. Imagine if you're firing the M79 through a window. An explosive round, you're going to hit the window and kill yourself. Yeah, it's going to bounce in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're looking to. But other I'm... than that, there's not a lot of other issues, I don't think. 
I'm just perplexed by just that because, I mean, with me being modding for the game for two years and being a fan of it since God knows when, just learning that is... It's so crazy because the amount of times when I've tested, like, uh, tested bullets and, and guns and stuff that I've developed, I've never noticed that issue with glass and windows. So I'm going to have to go back and redo some stuff. Shit. <laughs> well, so I take it it's still. I take it it's still the same, though, isn't it? So open windows will go through anything that is clearly a um, a window that would uh, appears to be greyed out or blocked off. It just bounce off. Uh, I assume that's uh, is that still the case, Wobo? When it comes to vehicles, I think they're the only ones that actually shatter when you damage uh, right. them enough. Yeah, yeah. I think it's related to vehicle glass only, but some modders might have created glass textures right. that break that are similar to vehicle windows breaking. And the hitbox, the fire geometry it's called, doesn't disappear. Uh, okay. Cool. And I don't I don't think that's gonna be an easy fix. No, that won't be. Cause uh 'cause I know when it comes to the texture side you can hide selections. Um that's fairly easy to do. And you can do that with all sorts of different stuff. But to do it for, like, view geometry or fire geometry, you can move it, but you can't make it disappear, as far as I'm aware. So that would be fairly interesting to see if they actually develop more on the engine side to do that. <coughs> but, hmm. Yeah. We'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. Dump Cry just said that base building hits the fire geometry, so it is. It could be possible, yeah. Hides. It's okay, okay. Like, we have to look into that then. That'll be a good. That'll be a good base. Thank you, Dump. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, no. It was. It was honestly. It was a fantastic, entertaining video, and you know, again, I was like, I was so happy to see you come back into the community, and you're still trucking on through, you're still making these really amazing videos, and. I'm always watching them, even if I'm at work. I okay. sneak a couple of minutes and be like, oh, watch a little bit of Warble. <laughs> but they're, they're the most interesting, I find. In terms of actual facts and figures, um, I was just discussing before we went live with Wobo very briefly around uh, one of the most informative videos he's, he's done that I felt he's done anyway, um, around the, the gun uh, trajectory and uh, bullets you know, through whatever. You know, that was When was that, Wobo? Was that about a year ago you put that out? It was one of the first videos I put out when I first came back, so mm, probably mm. about a good eighteen months ago, I think. Yeah, I was going to say I still remember it, mate. It was uh, it definitely uh, had an effect on how I <laughs> PvP anyway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it was going to be eye-opening for everybody. I wanted to present it in a way that um, really made people interested in it. So I started it off with a nice little intro. Yes. Uh, to show it off and then slowly brought people into it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a really, really fascinating side of Daisy. This uh, bullet projectile deflection, penetration, how it slows yeah. down, reduces mm -hmm. damage. I know it's not 100% realistic, and there are, there are a lot of criticisms, especially with bullet speeds and how they should penetrate different surfaces. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. for the most part, I think this you know, the most detailed game when it comes to uh, bullet physics and to see it happening in a game is really cool. You know, like in real life, mm -hmm. you can't see this stuff, but to see it in a game, like the bullets bouncing around mm -hmm. gives you an idea of how it might look in, in the real world too. Mm -hmm. Also can explain why you got hit in some weird way. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I'll never... Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing, that, isn't it? People dying and thinking... That bullet wasn't aimed directly at me. How did that hit me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a hacker. Hold on. Uh, it might not be. <laughs> may, it might, yeah, not be. might not be. <laughs> well, there's been many a times where I've been behind like a wall and immediately get a broken leg. It's like, ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I will say, though, and I'm only going to ask this because my mind's pulling a blank. You've covered explosives before on your channel. Um, mm -hmm. Have you done a video where you covered explosives inside buildings in terms of um, like penetration? Uh, because there's been times where I've been killed by a grenade. The grenade's outside a building, I'm inside and I still die. 
I'm not too sure if you've covered a video on that. I have looked into what explosives. They? They're hmm. really interesting in Daisy. I they they seem to be connected to the projectile system for bullets. And I don't know how it is. This is why I haven't done a video on it, because I haven't fully discovered maybe Dumpgra or somebody else, or maybe Cobra, you know, uh, more about this on the modding side of stuff, because it's related to projectiles, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's like, I think it works alongside the projectile system that the Daisy developers have there, mm -hmm. but... I think that it's like disconnected slightly and it and it works in a um radius so it just bursts yes. outwards and tries to penetrate all the surfaces around it and uh, yes, it loses damage very quickly through surfaces that's what I've learned because I know if it's like a wooden structure I will still receive damage obviously but if I'm behind like say stone or concrete structure I won't receive any damage which yeah you know, it's mm -hmm. typical to real life Somewhat. Yeah. But then, how does it work? Like, if your arm is exposed, does that kill you, or would that do arm level damage? This mm. it well, that's gets really thing. complicated. There's, yeah. yeah. There's yeah, so yeah. many yeah. different factors that go into it, and I can't wait for I can't wait until like we understand that kind of side of the game more, because that's really going to help a lot of players out there to kind of like understand and to use these um these these facts to their advantage i know there's been plenty of video that i've watched of yours where it's actually like literally changed how i play so i, ho I, I can't wait for that video to come out um i, I think really it's going to include quite a few bugs oh, naturally yeah <laughs> there, was, <laughs> there was an instance where i was testing grenades versus a metal sheet which is uh, there's a, a metal wall in daisy that's very very thin um mm -hmm. but sometimes it will allow grenades to go through it and i think right. that explosives if the explosive is happening at a certain tick of the server then it allows it to go through the surface to kill the person on the other side it's just a theory at the moment and i believe that some surfaces in the game are refreshed I don't know how it works, but they're, they're not always there. There's like a refresh rate for them. Or maybe the fire geometry gets refreshed constantly or something like that, and it allows the explosive damage to travel through it sometimes. Yeah, I've experienced this. I've experienced a little bit of this um, playing-wise. Um, so I'm not on the modded side, really. I'm, I'm more no. of a player content creator. So... Um, for me, I, I'm 100% with it, El Wobo, in terms of uh, sometimes some some crazy shit happens. But <laughs> but but how do you explain that? Because half the time, you know, uh, most of the time, 80% uh, 90% of the time, that that grenade ain't gonna ain't gonna kill you. But there is that 10% that that does. So uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. And when stuff like that happens, just Daisy things. It is what it is. Just got to get on with it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I try to understand it. I think the developers are also in a similar situation where they they create a program for something like a script in the game, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And because it works most of the time, they put it out. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying that's uh, anything bad. I'm just saying that's that's probably just the way Daisy is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know because. Uh, as I'm sure all of you are aware, that Daisy can be quite buggy sometimes. <laughs> sometimes? <laughs> yes. It's a lot better than what it yes. was. It, it is a lot better. <laughs> Admittedly, it is a lot better than it used to be, thankfully. Um, well, the vehicles have definitely got a bit better, haven't they? Oh, God. <laughs> for sure, they're much better now. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had yeah. any issues since I've uh, been playing with the vehicles. Used to. Uh, I've not I've not flown off yet into the air at all since the latest update with anything. No, so, they tend to stick to the ground more often this time. Mm. Yeah, slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little uh, bit yeah, more sliding around. <laughs> yeah, sorry, lemons. I cut over you there, mate. Oh yeah, no worries. I'm just saying now the uh, now the players fly instead instead yeah. of vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that Humvee is an absolute beast when it comes to uh, handling. Off-road, on-road, everywhere. I love that. Mm -hmm. No, it is definitely good. But um... it got enough. 
I'm gonna leak some information. Oh, oh for a future on. video next week, and it's it's um the AKM was required, like 500 penetration power was required to get through the windows of the Humvee, and it wasn't mentioned, but the uh, Humvee windows have been nerfed, so that they're the same. They're the same as other windows now in Daisy. So. Right. Okay. Ooh, Interesting. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> it's right. still the most bulletproof uh, vehicle. No, no, no. They ruined it. One out of ten. <laughs> they, one out of there ten on this update now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is because um, I want to get a, a, a good response from the community, and I'm sure they will say that the Humvee should be X amount more bulletproof, mm. because at the moment the Gunter mm. is right behind it, like it's almost as bulletproof as a Humvee. Oh really? That that is poor then. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Holy. Oh dear. Holy oh, no. no, no, piece of crap! You ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't ruin it. Don't shoot the messenger. Not well, well. <laughs> no, but I'm really, I'm think... really looking forward to that video and learning, um, learning all about that aspect of the changes. Um, I can definitely imagine what the <laughs> what the reception will be like, but we'll just have to see what uh, what they come out of one twenty. Um, you didn't have that much. Uh, time in this episode, so I'll just give you one more question, if that's okay, Bobo. That's fine, yeah. What are you looking forward to in 120? What would you like to see in the game? I honestly believe 120 is going to be uh, more of a bug fix patch, and mm -hmm. they're going to maybe introduce some things that have been requested previously over the year. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't. I'm not looking forward to anything in particular apart from maybe a unique weapon that's what i would really like like uh L lmg mm, okay. or uh, rpg would be interesting rpg that would... now that's interesting yeah that would be <laughs> nice. something like that would be really cool it's in the files i mean a lot, <laughs> of, a lot of stuff are in the files and I, i've that's you know what it is we, we, we've talked a lot on the show about uh balls red nine the 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 um you know the clips for the SKS and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. RPG is not one that comes up, so that's actually that's actually going to be really interesting. We'll have to see what happens because they've already got the M um, uh, the the M seventy nine. So yeah, okay, that's a... yeah. The M seventy nine was a big surprise for me, and I very much enjoyed it coming into the game because it it adds new mechanics to the games like explosives. On mm. contact, which is really interesting, and also if they had the LMG in the game, you'd have a sideways mag probably on the side. I don't know what it's called. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you had the RPG like a javelin, yeah, like Mr. Frankie just said. Oh. Yeah, hell yes, a javelin oh, for vehicles. Yeah. Oh, that would be absolutely. <laughs> Lux onto v uh, yeah, we can dream, can't we? <laughs> oh, oh, we oh, certainly yes. will. Just as well, will we? Will. Oh, bring <laughs> you might as well just bring in the bikes now, aren't you? Might as well. <laughs> bikes with bows, and you can shoot the bows off the bikes. Oh, Hell mate. yeah, this, dude. This, this won't be Daisy anymore. <laughs> It'll be the best Mr. game. Mr. Wobo, I, I would like to say this. Uh, I made a video oh, uh, oh. the other day. I made one, too. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you're in it. Lad's in it. Lemon's in it. Various other significant oh, people cool. are in it. So if you want to stay and watch that, or I'll, I'll, I sent you. I'll I'll stick it on. I'll um. I'll, I'll put it on. Because Lad hasn't watched it yet. Yeah, I'll put the link <clears> in the <throat> chat as well. So once once we we'll do this video, we'll uh, I'll, I'll we'll let we'll let you go, Robo. Okay. Sounds good to me. Good stuff. Is everybody got the video up? <clears throat> All up. All right. good. Fab. Five, four, three. Two, one, go. <laughs> Did you get that commissioned? Yes. You're dead. One of my uh, <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of my editors. I, I I was like, I have to make a video. And I was telling my editor, I was like, like I already had an idea. First, it started out just to mess with you, then I expanded it. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, oh like, my god, I love that. Because that was the very first thing. I had to find videos in which that we could line up really well, and I was like, 
smoking aces the sniper scene that yeah. one dude get getting absolutely wrecked with the 50 cal that's gonna be the red nine and lad's gonna be the one asking for it <laughs> oh my god you're a dick <laughs> <laughs> and on that note <laughs> Wobo, thank you very much for coming on the show. I really do appreciate you spending what little time you have coming on to talk to us about thank you very what much. you've discovered. Don't be a stranger. You're welcome back anytime. And uh, looking forward to your next video, mate. Okay. Yeah, thank you for having me. Take care of yourself, right. mate. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. See you later. Bye. See you later, Wobo. See you, mate. Oh my god, it was <laughs> No, but well, but it was absolutely lovely for coming on. I really, really do appreciate it. Guys, if you want to, I mean, I don't really need to tell you to go and like subscribe to his to his channel. Most, if not all of you already have, but if you haven't, you're doing, you're doing a disservice. Sub to him, like his videos, watch him. Yeah, that was really nice. He's really, he's a really nice guy. Love him. Very humble. But you, Wrath, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What? Why? Why do? Why do I have to want the way of fishnets <laughs> or whatever the hell she was wearing? I was too busy just lashing my head off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, that was really awesome for him coming on. But uh... oh, bless. No, that's all right. Wobble, well, much love to you, mate. And thank you very much again for coming on. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you get uh, some plenty of rest as well. And catch up on those videos, my guy. Come on. I want some more Daisy science. <laughs> eh, hey, Lord. But yeah, so... I don't even know where I go on from there. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, oh my God. No, but... Um, Starstruck, isn't he? Oh my God. No, I I've legit watched the watched Warble since I was in like college. I, I was he was he was his videos were fantastic back then. It was really I was over the moon when I saw that he came back. I literally like oh, Warble's back. No, but uh, but yeah. So it's been quite an interesting. It's been has been an interesting week. What has been going on in the community the past week? Well, lemons. You want to go first? Yeah. Go on. You've got your well, ears on the ground, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, following the last video uh, that we were last stream, we were talking briefly about the 120 video that Mark's released, mm -hmm. kind of going over the uh, update and what might be in it. And one of the things that he was going on or kind of touched on briefly was what weapons may be coming into the game. Now, yeah. he did uh, talk about the, which one was it? I think it was the rack. The, the submachine gun and there was mm -hmm. one other I believe but he did say in that video that if there are any others he'd love to like hear about it or you know provide or get, get like further insight on it so yeah for those who don't know in March of this year I had made a uh, Trello page that um, kind of documented the current development process on any unadded guns or ones from like their old Trello page mm -hmm. that were like back when like Dean Hall or like all the other people were working on it you know and never really made into the finished product and i just updated it today to time. have it um the most yeah to have it to the <laughs> most um up-to-date version of the game so mm -hmm. it's yeah, an interesting I mean... read because it really shows well just paints a picture about how much stuff is like just in the files and how much stuff could be added in and what that may do to the game in regards to balancing and combat as a whole so mm -hmm. very interesting stuff Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's, um, I'm just, I'm just looking at it right now and you can see, obviously there's quite a few weapons that, uh, but, um, there's obviously there's a few ones in there, um, that we kind of know about the bone, whatever else, but Again, RPG. <laughs> RPG they were talking about here. <laughs> Broken and Game Post 110, unreleased 2016-2017 Trello. Powerful, cheap, simple, robust. The RPG-7 is undoubtedly the most famous anti-tank rocket launch ever devised since its introduction in 1961, which is the in-game description. Also, Mr. Frankie, thank you very much for the $1.99. Really do appreciate it. And Petty Weddy earlier on, both of you for your Super Chats. Much appreciated. Thank you. And like you said, you updated it so... These new uh, these weapons were added. 
which is great. Um, but yeah, it's 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 quite interesting to see like how much more content they could have theoretically bring out from stuff that are in the files. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta get gotta get this big bad boy back when it's not getting shot by a barrel fifty cal. Um, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> dick. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like, you know, we've got one more year, uh, one more year, one more update of the year. It only makes sense that they do bring something back. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm at the same time, I'm also welcome for something completely brand new. Um, and, you know, it would be great if it was an RPG. I think that I think that'll tie everything nicely, considering we've had quite a few explosives this year. But yeah, I was um, going to say, it would have to be. It would have to be something other than the big um, overpower type stuff, wouldn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of talk about civilian type weapons and whatever else. I think Lemons was talking about um, the taser coming. Uh, is it the yeah. Prod Six? Oh yeah. Oh, the, the uh, non-lethal weapons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, are you expecting anything big to come back, or are you thinking it's going to be something along them lines? If it is, I, I can't see there being anything major coming in. Can you? <laughs> Um, not necessarily. You know, I think a lot of us like to hold hope that some big weapon from maybe like the Armor 2 series or Armor 3, you know, might make its way back in mm -hmm. or make mm -hmm. its first debut. But honestly, I like what they've been doing recently with their um, outsourcing to fellow Bohemia projects, whether that be like, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Vigor. Whether it be like Vigor oh. or the, um, I think there was one other title they were grabbing stuff from as well, but um, no, just see, just having the chance to be able to like share resources between the the uh, different studios and the work they're doing internally is just amazing. And I would honestly love to see some of the um, Vigor weapons make their way into the game, or even some of the Armor Forger ones, as we've already mm. seen with like the um, M79, which was a direct report or <laughs> direct it's port. The M16. Reporter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. It would be really interesting to see that stuff come in because there's like tons of weapons. You know, you go through into uh, Vigor and there's they have like hundreds of different styles of weapons in there. You know, and I feel a lot of them may suit the uh, suit like the uh, the play style mm -hmm. and the kind of way that Daisy is right now, or it could pivot it to like a whole different uh, medium. You know, and could change the way people experience it. So a lot of interesting things, but I think in regards to like 1.20. I don't think there's going to be any game changers, you know. They no. might add back one of the old legacy weapons. I highly doubt it'll be like any of the crazy things like the non-lethals or anything like that because that mm -hmm. could be, that's just going to be a whole different thing, you know. That, that, that'll be huge if the taser or the dart gun ever makes its way back into the game, but honestly, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'd love to see the um, the BK with the pistol grip make its way back into the game. Because yeah, the short shot you. One of yeah. its coolest features was that it had less ammo, like, or well, it had less of an ammo capacity, but you had a faster reload speed with it. That would make more so sense. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be interesting to see that back in the game just for uh, combat situ situation, because of course, with the uh, the police shotgun. A lot of people, like, it takes some time, you know, to re reload that. Not a lot of people have time, especially when you're either dispatching hordes of zombies or you're mm -hmm. in a situation where you're in, like, direct combat. Having something that has the perks of, like, the uh, BK shotgun while also being able to load it faster mm -hmm. to keep in that combat, I think would be uh, pretty cool. So. Oh, no, absolutely. I think... If we are going to stay kind of, like with the civilian which i think we will <clears throat> we're probably gonna see either the trumpet come back or the rack there's there's only what two 22 guns in the game got the amphibia and the sporter having the trumpet would be back uh would be would be great and having the rack is another good. another civilian type SMG, I think that would be pretty decent. Something that can like bridge the gap between like whatever else you get in the bison. Because the bison was quite a surprise. Um especially its caliber. 
But looking mm. into it, apparently it regularly like shoots the 380 cartridge. So it's like, oh, wait, well, fair enough. Mm -hmm. But um, what's even more interesting too is um, when I was doing some internal research into like the weapons and making the descriptions and all that. Within the very first um, developer Trello mm -hmm. that they had like back in 2015, 2016, they'd already made the Bison and it was already fully modeled and um, textured. And they had actually planned for it to be rifled in uh, 9 by 19 So it's interesting mm -hmm. to see internally what may have gone through to change that to 380. Hmm. Yeah. Because when I heard the Bison came out for 380, 380 AM, I was like, how's this going to fit for like, like you know, coast, coastal spawns? Because this is supposed to be like, what, a tier 3, tier 4 weapon? And it's using tier 1 ammo? It's like, how... How's that going to work? Mm, tier at the co yeah. uh, ammo at the coast, and uh, yeah, much later on, you might get your hands on it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. What do you say? Now, where where have you found that poison? <coughs> well, within the uh, vanilla files, it does spawn in like uh, military locations. I don't believe it has any tier locking, so it's like the um, AK 74U that can spawn pretty much anywhere that there's military. But one thing I always thought about. And, or well, at least <laughs> after it got released, was I think that they made a poor choice putting the um, the Bison into military locations because the 380 AC, or like the 380 version of the Bison was actually used by um, Soviet police forces. Okay. Oh, okay. So what would you guys, or how would you guys feel if it was available instead in police stations and therefore diversifying the loot that could be found in police stations? Because I know before the um, SSG rifle was added in, it was getting a bit stale. So... Yeah, I mean, I think um, playing-wise, so I've only really found the Bison either. Um, it's Lenagorst, I think, mainly. I find the Bison there a couple of them at a time, possibly, in the trains or whatever. So, find them in a police state. I think that's probably a good call, mate, to be fair. Um, maybe... Yeah, mate, what's what you've got in there? The BKs, the Scorpions, you've got the Glocks, haven't you? So, yeah, I, yeah that'd go well. Mm -hmm. Or even, um, even if it had to stagger into a higher tiered area, because I know uh, Dumkra on the chat was just saying um, it has a super high fire rate and low recoil. So... Although that may set it a bit of an advantage than something like the uh, Scorpion, then having that as a higher tier al or like uh, alternative, and then keeping the Scorpion as a coastal yeah. weapon, mm -hmm. may be an yeah. um, interesting idea. I personally don't think it should ever spawn in the coast, ever. I what think bison we're talking? Mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel because the mag capacity and how easy it is yeah. to find through yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it would maybe be a tier bit... two. Maybe mm. tier, yeah, maybe tier two police stations. Tier three, yeah. In tier three because... military, and obviously tier four. But mm -hmm. I mean... how would you feel if the scorpion was then tier locked to only the coast instead of spawning at any police station? And then once you started to move further inland, you'd get stuff like that. Because I know of certain yeah. weapons, they do have that tier lock where it can only spawn in uh, the coastal regions. So because because I could tell you right that right now you could tell. How fresh a person has been yes. by what kind of guns they have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you and I could tell you right off the hand. You see someone carrying a, a scorpion, car seeing someone carrying like a BK rifle, double barrel, or even a pump action. You know exactly where they got it mm -hmm. from the coast. You see that kind of person running around like and say, "Tissy," then either he just made a beeline for it. Or he has really bad luck finding guns. <laughs> yeah, he's just always, run always straight doing in. A challenge run. Well, you know, <laughs> you know what? Sauerkraut in the chat is probably something interesting. What if they spawned exclusively at uh, the police situations? Hmm. Mm. Only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they should. I think they should add another police event. You know, honestly. I think they should um, obviously have the one that we've got already, but I think we should have one that's police got like blockades. a bigger... Well, not only police blockades, but an, an actual like police van, which would oh, warrant... Oh, a van. Like, which mm. would warrant... Oh, like, you mean, like the, uh, like the crisis response, response vans, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. like, like a an actual... Van, yeah. yeah, like a swap mm -hmm. van. So it would actually warrant a proper bison score. 
that there would be perfect for a bison, I would say, because they're going to be very rare coming mm. in. So where would you have them then? Straight off the coast? I personally <clears> think <throat> it should be a little bit further inland than that, maybe. Yeah. I maybe have like one or two on the coast somewhere. One or two, but mostly found inland. Mm. Yes. Interesting. You'd I need a SWAT they're... helmet as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, they've got the Gorka helmet, so, I mean... Mm. There, there is one thing I want to say about the Gorka. You can add the plexiglass to it, and mm -hmm. I kind of wish that would add maybe slightly more protection or maybe give the helmet more health. Yeah, but... Because right now, it's, 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 it's essentially worthless. It just adds more yeah. weight. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like police in general should get fleshed out a bit because I don't know about you guys, but I've just kind of stopped looting like the um, the police cars, you know, the abandoned police oh, wrecks, and even I'll with the police there. situations, oh, yeah. I haven't really yeah. given much of a run over. But mm -hmm. having something unique there, or having something special that could be unique to police only, other than like the uh, the current tiered weapons, you know, something like high tier that could be police, you know, I think feel very very interesting. That's why. Something like even the stun baton coming back into the game, I feel like would be yeah. pretty interesting. I would like to see tear gas grenades spawn at military. Think... Uh, please, yeah. yeah. Like if they're gonna add, if, like if they're gonna add something new, like a new throwable, you know, tear gas grenades. What about high tier police, like tier three, tier four, spawning flashbangs at them, or having a chance to, but. Keeping it um, locked to only the cement ones, not the village ones. Mm. So the larger police station that's like in the uh, city areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some interesting. That mm. that would be that would be that would be a pretty interesting interesting idea. Um, Ray is the same. Bring back the book armor. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Darkwing is saying Molotovs. Yeah, let's just bring Molotovs in. Why? Why not? If they do add a new gun, like I would, I wouldn't mind seeing like a new, like a uh, new semi-auto rifle, so something similar to the SK, but more, I guess, police version of an SK. I think the, like I a think DMR. The, I think the problem is, is that there's now a wide variety of guns, and a lot of the guns now kind of fit into their own category and. Uh, different play styles. <clears throat> yeah, sure, it'd be interesting to have another rifle, but personally, I think we've got enough of them. I think we need more, Gosh. we definitely need more civilian stuff and That's maybe true. more improvised stuff. Um, yeah. Something that can kind of like promote players, but also something with like really interesting mechanics. They add like a Catlin gun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's get the fucking Gatling gun. <laughs> BB gun. Yeah. BB guns on me. Hell yeah, dude. A rifle. <laughs> That's run interesting, isn't it? Gas powered, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna run around with now, a Lancer I was just looking into this before we go on to the, uh, the next topic. So I know we've been uh, kind of going in circles for a bit about this kind of topic, which would mm. be an interesting thing on its own, you know, to discuss in a uh, future episode. But. Apparently, the uh, Groza is also police. That, I don't Not understand. within, like, the, the DayZ lore or anything, but, like, within the actual, um, yeah. But <coughs> that would be an interesting thing, and that could actually, like, compel players to want to go to, like, uh, those higher-tier police stations. I mean, I always would have thought the Groza would have been shooting the... 9 by 39 and it would be something like specialist forces would use. That's what I've always known it for. Not a police station. Yeah. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Cobra? Am I just being a, am I just being a tit? <laughs> Mate, I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> I'm good for that. I'm good for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with lemons on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. You just, you know, you just both wrong. <laughs> no. no. But um, I just, yeah, 
I mean, but then again, we can't really say much because the, the, the gun isn't actually in the game. So, it's... It is what it is. We can't really say much until it actually does. It doesn't work in the game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at all the animations aren't even in. <laughs> so, yeah, at least with the, at least with the show like shot, you, you but... can reload it. <laughs> so... <clears throat> but, uh... But, yeah, I mean... You know, we talked about a little bit of 119 last week and naturally we've got to, we've got to talk about it again <laughs> but uh, Boydie put out a poll on the um, the podcast Twitter and it was uh, it just says okay folks so it's been around a month now we've had Livonia what are your thoughts on the new map keeping it simple hit or miss and nearly three quarters of people said hit uh, mm. And a quarter of them said miss. This is out of 88 votes. <clears throat> now, I've already said time and time again that I like Livonia now, and a lot of other people ha do as well. Um, but it's it's really nice to see that finally, after all this time, um, more values come to come to the map. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of, um, I think it was one of those maps when I first bought it, it was great for the first month, and then when you worked out where everything was, um, you got the, for instance, a one big river running through the whole lot pretty much on the, uh, the northern front, well, quite north, it's not mm. quite central of the map, but once you've worked all that out, I think it, it certainly become a bit of a novelty map for a while. And then mm. kind of faded out, and most of the population. I put out several polls um, since that came out in the first year and a half, and everyone was still saying the same thing: Cherno, you know, that's the map, that's the main map, you know, that's where yeah. we go play. We might pop on it for a little while, but no, since this update, it's definitely changed. I think a lot of perspectives, a lot of new players are on there, both console and PC now. So, mm. um, I mean, I look at the server list, <coughs> and they are predominantly now full or high mm. pop so you can see how much it's changed i think yeah absolutely i mean heck it's even like um it's even influenced my you know my modding stuff you know before i wouldn't have even considered doing any of my mod stuff livonia in mind i would have been like ah, who gives a shit who plays livonia now it's like i need to make this work for livonia mm. <laughs> For the love of God, please, I need to make it work for Livonia. <laughs> but <clears throat> I still really enjoy it. I still need to have a little bit more time to play it, uh, though, and explore more, if not all of the new changes. I haven't managed to do that yet. But I, I still enjoy it. I mean, you saw, you saw kind of like in that poll there, like I thought it hit, you know, because mm. it, it does it for me now, which is great. And a lot of other people think the same, and it's got good value for money. I just yeah, hope yeah. that they do continue to develop and flesh it out a bit more. Give it the Chinaris yeah. treatment. Don't just that, that's it the stagnant. Key. Keep, yeah. keep moulding it into another perfect map. They have plenty of room in that big open map. Yeah. I, I, actually... I mean, it's still... I was going to say to you, lad, it's still, for me, it's still... I love it. do love it. But it's still, I think, missing just one more. What? It just, it just one more thing. I think I'm not sure what exactly, but I'm thinking like we've got the bunker. There needs to be one more special area. Mm. I think southwise, um, the other side of the map, or maybe right in the middle south. There just needs to be something. One, one more thing, maybe, and maybe in the next couple of updates, you might see something. I don't know. But see, mm -hmm. he's talking about. He just wants another uh, another crap bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hell do, yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's the, that's the main feature of you know Livonia. The crap bucket, <laughs> hell yeah. But see, 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 the thing is, like before, we could say, oh yeah, well, you know what they could put there? They could put a bunker. Now we can't say that anymore. So now it's like, okay, what? Could another bunker. Be? <laughs> another mm. bunker. What? What, what, what could it be? Do now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, does, it doesn't need to be like a big castle or something because you've got the new castle up just uh, south of Sydney, haven't you? But, I mean, there needs to be... I don't know. Uh, that's why they're developers, aren't they? They need to find yeah. something that's different 
down I wouldn't that, mind. Down that way. I wouldn't mind seeing them do. They combine their two most newest elements. You know, the gas zones and a bunker. Have like a a multi story underground bunker filled with gas. You know. I mean, I think they should do that for the third level of the current bunker anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Because I consider because I guess, box is stored. Because I consider this bunker that we have right now as like the free test or a you know testing bunker to see how things go. Mm. I mean it has a little bit of a water <laughs> pump to it. And now yeah, yeah. they can probably they can add, say, like another bunker and it's like has different puzzles, different means, you know, fail states and all that other kind of good stuff. Yeah. You know. And also maybe switch that over to like to Chinaris. Chinaris has its own unique crazy bunker somewhere. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Chinaris should have one to be fair. It needs yeah, one. it should. It I just, should. I just want to quickly interject. DOJ's in chat. So glad you guys liked my crap bucket. We did. <laughs> just can't believe he put Scotty's face in there. What's wrong with you guys? That's how you got the sound, isn't it? Crap bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I like Good Easter egg would be like. California, how it is. I mean, see, that's the thing. It's like I do, but I do agree with uh, with Cobra that. Maybe one more point of interest. Maybe one more. I've got it. I've got it. Here we go. Cave. A proper walk-in cave. There we go. With a little bit of underground underneath once you've walked in. Something that you could actually build, I suppose, in. But something big enough for there to be a little Ooh. kind of cave maze. Maybe a little bit of water in there as well. Like a that mine, sounds maybe. Possibly, yeah. Like something like that. But on the a east cave. Side. The cave, natural formation, formated cave. Yes. But it, at the end, it leads to like say another underground bunker, at which he even goes down even deeper, and it's more Maybe. complicated. Maybe I want that second bunker. You're at. He wants that, <laughs> doesn't he? He does. Want that. I because my 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 buddy chuckles is like he's like oh freaking bunker. Uh, I want coronary airstrikes as as the as the reward and all this. I'm like it's a bunker. Bruh. It ain't gonna do that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. I like I like the idea of the cave, but what if it was like a historic exploration site? And there was like paleontologists that were set down that like down there at one point, you know, and there was like all this go. like research gear down there. Here we go. Let's get some lore into it. Let's get some the secrets of Livonia. There yes, go. there we cave. go. Golems <laughs> Dinosaur bones, aliens. <laughs> There's gonna be a little skeleton. There's a little 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 guy, just a little hunched over guy. Like, I love yeah. my precious <laughs> golem. Yeah, all that I, shit, Why not? Golem's I, cave. <laughs> like I came up with a, a good idea. Like we have like these d- dynamic dynamic events that happen every so often. Mm. You know, the tra- uh, trains, the uh, police, the uh, military convoy, and the helicopter crashes. And I've noticed, like, you know, the helicopter crashes now. Before then, they didn't make a sound, and you only found them, like, I guess, after they crashed. But now you can hear them crash. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, why don't we have that happen for, like, say, like, for, I guess, for military convoys. Like, you can hear distant gunfire in the distance, followed by crashing and explosions and stuff like that, yeah, and you come yeah. upon. Yeah, that's good. And you come or, upon it. Mm, or, like, a, a heavy kind of... um. <laughs> Uh, noise on the road like multiple vehicles if they're not too far away from you in a certain distance you can hear like a convoy coming so or like say uh, a sub, like a like a survivor just crashed just out of earshot and you can hear like the screeching of tires followed by a crash mm-hmm. and you can find like, like a unique train. like the the, di- the dynamic trains why don't they have like a screeching sound when they're stopping too yeah yeah absolutely <clears throat> like the horn the screeching yeah uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just you know, just to add, a, add, just make it you know, add like it, like the world is alive. Like when I said, when uh, they updated for the gas zones and the helicopters made crashes, and you know the gas zones were happening dynamically. It was like I was telling the people here, I was like, it feels like there's someone actually trying to kill you now. Not just players, but the game world itself is actively trying to kill you now. I mean, like, like there's does. there's life beyond the void. <laughs> there's, beyond. there's never life beyond the void. But um, yeah, that's an interesting one. 
convoys you can take out. Mm, no. Uh. <clears throat> that would require the implementation of like full AI, but I don't think. They but exist. would it just the vehicles? And then obviously the AI, uh, the zombies would spawn, wouldn't they? Mm. After the crash, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hmm. I think I think the thing they need to focus on <clears throat> is they need to improve on the infected AI. Having a cave system somewhere on the Vornia Ocenaris would be really interesting. Probably small Livonia. Mm, um, I'd agree. It, it would make more sense considering the amount of quarries that's there now. Mm, yeah. Um, well, well, that surprised me as well because the quarries are pretty big mm. and in a couple of areas <coughs> on both of them you could easily see where a tunnel could be oh, carved easy. out. Hmm. I was kind of expecting when I first went down and had a look at it that there would be. But, but I do like the massive digger trucks, though. Oh, yeah, they're, they're cool. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. <clears throat> look, guys, you infected already barely got... Uh, infected already barely work. You're shooting too high. Nah, mate, we ain't shooting high enough. <laughs> I want a special infected somewhere. I want, you know, the mummy yeah. zombie. Something like it. I was just like say, it. we had mummies. Had. Because mm. that thing was tanking damage. How about we have something that's similar to it, like a <laughs> like a juggernaut zombie wearing body armor, and after you get rid of the body armor, it's still taking rounds. Wait, I mean, it's just... <laughs> um, yeah. Put it in the bunker! <laughs> you, got, you got to see it at two, like, at two different perspectives, though, because, you know, gameplay-wise... It'd be great to have something like that, but Daisy's also meant to be like a hardcore, realistic mm. survival experience, and they've said multiple times that these aren't like real zombies and they're just infected. So mm. mm -hmm. it's just, just find it's like the like the middle ground between the age. two of those to be able to get an experience like that. I think would be mm. interesting, but <laughs> maybe then they could have something like a uh, zombie spawning with the Groza helmet and actually having that uh, front front glass piece do protection. Mm -hmm. And they could have special zombies like that spawning, you know, or stuff like where it's actual clothing or armor or something like that that's causing the zombie to maybe take less damage. Or even like survivor zombies, you know, we have the class names in the files for survivor zombies. Mm. What if they had mm -hmm. like improvised armor on them or something like that, you know, like stuff wrapped around their arms and legs, you know, showing they're trying to, or maybe they had like a gas mask on them or giving us back the damn glasses and face mask slots for the damn infected. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be nice. That would be pretty that nice. That would be amazing, you know, because all it is is just, like, um, making the proper bone points for that, right, within the mm -hmm. models. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it just it's something like that that just creates so much more variety, because imagine seeing zombies with, like, face masks on them, or with glasses, or different types of stuff like that, and just having that um, organic experience, because the biggest issue I've noticed, you know, at like a core level, is you go into a town and you see pretty much the same zombie at least three or four times. And it just seems very kind of stale, you know? It doesn't seem mm. like unique. Yeah. I want it like, it's a small feature, but like, I'd love to be able to walk into a town and see zombies that are different from each, like, each one of each other, you know? Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Yeah. I just want to be red nine. <laughs> so lad. No. Please. <laughs> no, but either way, I think the major thing that I, I am waiting for is, yeah, sure, it's 120, but it's the post that the devs will most likely announce on what the future for Daisy is, like they do mm. one every year. And every single day, it's, yeah, it's like, well, there's at least one more year of Daisy development. <laughs> and now it's a case of, okay. Are we getting another year of DC development, please? <laughs> For the love of God, please. Which I think the world will be silly if they don't, but I'm still always anticipating that. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens when it comes to the end of year post. I mean, we'll probably get one twenty start of December, back end of November, maybe. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see. Well... Um, Okay, one last thing before I go back to lurk mode. Make infected have physics again so and quit glitching inside them. Mate, bring back ragdoll physics in general. Or maybe do it like Left 4 Dead did. 
half ragdoll, half actual animation. 100%. So that was, that was a pretty good system that they had in Left 4 Dead. So clean. It was... And it was great. Exactly. And I think all the stuff we've been talking about, it boils down to, like, environment and atmosphere building within the game. Mm -hmm. And it's something that the developers can really focus on kind of broadening and expanding on. And just changing core things like that alone, I think, could totally change the way you experience the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, just imagine for a second Left 4 Dead zombies in Daisy, and just how crazy that would be. I still hate that spot zombie in Left 4 Dead. Oh, man. <laughs> the one that you can only, like, kill in the back. <laughs> yeah. That's just one of the dude. Yeah. I'm just like, you know what? I can't be asked. I'm off. See you later. Bye. Shut the door behind us. <laughs> Get me teammates killed. I die eventually. <laughs> you know You know how it is. <laughs> but, oh, uh, I, like, I like what Aldous said, though. Survival stealth kills. Or, sorry, survivor stealth kills. We already That'd be a great thing. Right. We already have that. It's hiding in a corner with a shovel and waiting for somebody to come around so you can bonk them on the head. There you go. <laughs> well, for me, it's a sawed-off double barrel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or just watch a Stimpy video. He's got plenty of those, <laughs> <laughs> those kind of Or fresh stuff. spawns. <laughs> or fresh spawns, yeah. Yeah, God. But, uh, but, but, yeah. 2023 roadmap. What do you guys think? Top four things on it. If it, if there is a 2023 road map, <laughs> base is. building, new map, <laughs> new map, new map, <laughs> new map. <laughs> I'll let you go first, Cobra. Ah, uh, do you know what? I think I, you know, I've always hated this bikes situation, <laughs> but, but, but. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I'm so, oh, oh Christ. It's sad to say that it's actually growing on me a little bit. Bikes by the coast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. Yes! You know, I don't know. I don't know. He's yeah. converted. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of call for that in there. You know, there I'm is. sitting there thinking, really? Is it? But, but I take it away from the whole running simulator scenario, I suppose. You know, you'd have a. a, a a variety of different ways to get about. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> let's go with bikes for the time being. <laughs> we'll go, let's go with bikes, absolutely. Only if BMX. <laughs> BMX. Now, that would be interesting, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Any any more things that you'd expect to see in the 2023 roadmap? Uh, I think, I really do think it's just going to be I don't know, really. Just, just. I, I can't see. I want to see caves, man. I want to see caves. Mm. And if they brought caves in, that that would, you know, like proper enterable caves. Um, I'd be, I'd be quite happy with that. But other than that, I can't see a lot more going on in the next little while. I think, I think everyone's right. Just bugs and fixes and stuff like that. But I'd like to see caves. That, that's my number one. Caves, maybe bikes. Yeah, I'm going to stick with those. Fair enough. For me, definitely caves. I'll agree with you 100% on that. Because the underground code that Daisy has now can fully accommodate for changing of like soundscapes. Like a, a, a soundscape. The, the more darker the, the scene gets, the more other sounds start to play. Which kind of creates that illusion that you, you are fine, you are like underground. Having one for caves, where you can hear like the slight murmur of like the like cold steel air going through, maybe a couple of drops in the distance or something like that. That would be sick. That would be absolutely sick. Maybe it's like it's one of the ones like up north, way, way, way up north, where like the doors to the coal mines or whatever, they're actually, you know, interactable. You can go inside and it goes into the cave and you can find maybe some, uh, let me see, something blue. No, nothing. It's a shadow. <laughs> it's, it's the microphone. Oh, I can't see it, actually. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, you, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. 
fucking yeah. <laughs> You made me think, oh shit, there is something wrong with my, uh, me, me webcam there. But, uh, what's I saying? Oh yes, I remember. It would be great to go inside a cave and, and to, to explore and find, you know, all, sort of, all sorts of different stuff. Maybe even, like, an, a, a survivor camp in there. Yeah, that's that's a good call. That's a good call. Or Or ancient kind of remains in tunnels. Mm. Something yeah. like that. It'd be really great. That'd uh, be actually really dope. And little little crawl spaces. Yeah, like they should separate some caverns with just like a little, like a cave in, and there's only a small bit you have to crawl under to get through. Yes, and then you yeah. can, yes, get into a big cavern out of there. I was actually mm. thinking, actually, coming back to that, wouldn't it be cool if there were, I know they've got the little, um, the little mods some people are starting to use, the under underwater tank scuba diving gear type stuff. <laughs> But mm. what about being able to explore the ocean a little bit? <laughs> I mean, imagine that. I mean, if you could actually get out and swim underneath a little bit, you know, that that would be quite interesting. <laughs> Just that... a bunch of rough geometry. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually quite interesting to see. I'd... Hmm. Could you imagine the amount of hours on Shinaris, right? If you were new to the game, the amount of hours you'd have to spend to not only know the map, but then you could and explore the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> so you'd be there for months, wouldn't you? You'd be there for absolutely months. You could just have a little underground base and whatever else, you know. Obviously, I base building wouldn't probably work. But... <laughs> Underwater cave system. Way. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. All that, yeah. I mean, I suppose it would be a good way to like add more content to the map without actually increasing its size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But... um. I think I think they should definitely add a cave system to mm. Livonia, but I think they should further implement the unknown organic stuff. Uh, you know the roots that we kind of talked about in the past with like the yellow mm -hmm. stuff in it. I think they should do something more with that in these caves. I think they should do something like that. Maybe it's like one of the origins of the virus. Or something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe it's something airborne, so like, kind of works similar to Pox, but it like affects your character differently. Maybe it's like oh, like the uh, like the spores from The Last of Us. Yeah, I guess you could say. Maybe there's something like that. Just obviously spitballing, because <laughs> you know it's what we do here. But it would be pretty. Um, it would be pretty interesting to see something like that. Um, but I think the major thing that I'm really, really wanting to see in a 2023 roadmap is maybe an announcement for a community DLC. Mm, there you go. Maybe something like that. Maybe they'll reach out to a certain group of modders or maybe a group of modders will reach out and be like, hey, we want to do this. Maybe, maybe, maybe it could happen. Maybe it's already happened. We just don't know because of NDA. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'd mean like, Shh. but uh, I think they should do that because. But then again, they have just revamped Livonia a bit, so would it make sense to implement a community map? I think yes, that's one of those things, isn't it? So. I think you're right. I think because of what they've done, it's a little bit further off if they're even going to mm. consider that, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's it. But it'd be great to see. It would be great Boy to see. Dream. A, a, a lad <laughs> can dream. Yeah. But uh, what about yourself, Lemons? Well, one thing I spoke about on the uh, last episode is like <laughs> adding in meta events and expanding like the actual in-game atmosphere and just that environmental connection to the player. You know, having like vehicles have the chance of triggering car, or triggering car alarms, you know, house alarms. Mm-hmm. Dynamic events that just <clears throat> make it a much more in-depth experience, you know, for the player, I think would be amazing. Um, zombie AI, we all say it needs to be, <laughs> needs a bit of love. But yeah. just going in and giving the zombies, like, new features and things that make them a lot more of a menacing foe that we may not already have, you know. Even, like, one of the biggest things that I think would be a great introduction is, as it is currently... If you go into a defensive stance, you can just let zombies hit you for however long you want, and they can just keep it in you, and you won't take a single piece of damage, you know? 
either allowing the player to have depletion of stamina while they're in a blocking stance, or letting the zombies stun lock the player by he using a heavy attack. Well, sorry, not necessarily, not necessarily stun lock, but cancel their block by doing a heavy attack like a player mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. Could be an interesting feature. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be, actually, yeah. Because as it is right now, you can just sit in like uh, a blocking stance for as long as you want and let as many zombies hit you. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. once yeah, you have like cool. 10 or 12 zombies on you, it gets a bit difficult. But if you put yourself in a corner, you can sit there for like, I mean, until you starve pretty much. But <laughs> just imagine being in that and having your stamina deplete, you know? And then once it's depleted, you're screwed and the zombies can just start beating down on you. Yeah, I was literally just about to say that. That would be, that would be sick. I mean, it, it would definitely get around like the kind of like that issue where you could just stand there like that. Nothing could happen to you, but you can almost tell that that would immediately be you turned. Yeah. Though, then they could put that into the uh, CFG gameplay.json file and allow people to <laughs> modify the um, usage of stamina while in a block stance, like they have done with um, all the other stuff. So. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. Now, another thing for Darkwing, he said I would never loot a car for that car alarms. I'm not just talking wrecks, I'm talking vehicles as well. One thing I kind of briefly said on the last episode was, imagine having vehicles spawn and the chance of them spawning locked. And to open them, you can either smash the car window, which you can already do in the game, like in vanilla, mm -hmm. or use a lockpick to open it. Because, realistically... I know this is like a survival experience and vehicles will be left abandoned by people who were in a rush to get out of that and they, they'd be unlocked, but not every car is going to be unlocked. You know, what no. if there's a low chance that some of them may be locked mm -hmm. and by smashing the window, there's a chance that an alarm could go off, you know, mm -hmm. or by using the pick lock, that's like, you can just get it open and get in there and get like, get out. I think yeah. stuff like that, it just, it allows more of a challenge for the player and it gives them more stuff to do because the biggest thing that Daisy struggles with, in my like opinion, mm -hmm. is replayability or just giving mm -hmm. them like feature depth content to be able to keep going with. Because once you've played the map, you've gotten the loot, you put it in a base, that's it, and the player stops playing until wipe, you know, unless they want to try and raid other bases, you know. But once they become mm -hmm. like the quote unquote king of the server, what else is there to do? You well, know, so it, giving yeah. them maybe a more difficult time to get to that point or giving them more of like just challenges in general when they're trying to get this loot, you know, which they have done by making um, the loot damaged, you know, mm -hmm. it gives them just that one extra thing to do because now instead of having like pristine loot, they've got this damaged and worn out loot that now they have to go and find repair tools for. And that just gives them that extra time and extra replayability that wouldn't have had before. So giving us these things that maybe like... It's almost like mini games, you know, in a sense, if you think about it, because then it's like sub quests and sub challenges that you have to do to then get to that end goal. You know, if if a vehicle has a chance of having a car alarm, you may be like, oh, you know, I, I might not want to smash it because then the zombies, you know, could become like attracted. So maybe I'm going to try and find a lockpick, mm -hmm. you know, or using that to your advantage and being in a PvP situation and setting off a car alarm. So zombies got attracted to the area so you could defuse combat. You know, there's just so many different things that can be put in to just create an entirely new experience and I think it just takes it takes time and you know it, it just they need to be able to sit down and just have that discussion but I think it's a discussion that should really be held you know or just yeah. had in general mm -hmm. yeah no I, I'd agree with you mate I, I love the idea of the car alarm stuff you brought up last week I do I do think that is a great idea definitely add something to the game mm -hmm. and I think the big thing too is it fleshes out the official experience, you know, because of course, community is always going to have like a special place in a lot of people's hearts, but a lot of people went from official to community because mm -hmm. it was lacking content. <laughs> yeah. It didn't have a lot of features in there. And that's why people went to community to get that experience, you know, yeah. having these things in there could then make the official community thrive again, you know, and bring back that mm -hmm. population that once like was in the game, you know, before yes, 0.62 yeah. come back in the day. Because mm. official used to be bumping, you know. Mm. Well, I mean, it still is. Don't get me wrong, but not like it was. Yeah. Mm. So I think just fleshing that out, you know, adding back the legacy content and focusing on really building Daisy into its own IP, I think, is crucial. 
it is its own IP. <laughs> but, uh, but sure. no, I, I, do, I mean, I, like giving I it, giving it more of like a, a heart, you know, I think that's yeah. more so what I mean. That's yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I know even if it doesn't come out as vanilla, it's definitely fantastic modding concept. So maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe Lost even now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess other than that, I mean, the caves too. I'd love to see caves added. And you know, like I was saying, the, uh, the like the archaeological or can't talk apparently, like the archaeologist <laughs> dig sites. You know, having those put in. You know, maybe being able to see like yeah, yeah. ancient ruins or old stuff, like just old rock walls and stuff that were like covered under the neath like the dirt and the erosion and all that you know uh, being able to see mm -hmm. stuff like that i think would be amazing yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even with, like sprawling ivy and grass and stuff just growing into it and really fleshing out the overgrowth and that heart that livonia has you know mm -hmm. i feel like would be amazing oh, you know yeah, seeing yeah. like harps across the ground and those um those industrial spotlights you know having to have a chance to those spawning there and stuff like that i feel like that would be just that'd be amazing yes. you know mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. I'll tell you what, though, some been some pretty interesting stuff happening on uh, that I've been seeing on on the subreddit. And somebody in chat uh, asked just before thoughts on r slash DZ. Uh oh. And, uh, <laughs> due to previous interactions, I will not comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually quite like the subreddit. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't. I don't. Uh, my my opinion of it certainly changed a lot, and I like it a lot more. But somebody, somebody created. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there who create their own kind of like content, own kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> nobody with morality goes on Reddit. I'm a, there you go. I'm a regular user. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> but somebody, uh, by the user of substantial log eight two eight one, made a post three hours ago saying first diorama, first Daisy diorama I made. Anyone at Gorka? And I actually really like this. I, I'm in love with dioramas. I wish I had the patience to actually make one. But this was actually quite nice. This is really, really nice. That does look good, yeah. Yeah. And the Very comments good. Were, were overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, Petty, I, I thought, Petty, you might, you might like that uh, as well. And it's uh, it's really interesting. It's really really cool. Get the bigger picture. There you go. <laughs> Don't you really just got to talk Shut up, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, no. It's, All right, it's... buddies. I'm going to have to go ahead and call it. Time to go to work. Righty, old bud. You have yourself a uh, a good shift. And uh, don't <laughs> perish. <laughs> uh -huh, mate. Uh -huh. See you later, mate. <laughs> Look All after right, yourself, Rath. Much love to him, I did. Woo! Bye bye. I've just noticed looking at the bigger images as well. There's loot on there. You got your, you got the P1. I think it's a P1. And then you got the sporter on the front of the car. Oh, I see the PK. Is that? I it? like. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I I really like that. That's a nice touch. I didn't notice that before, before first. Very nice. And like I said, the comments are really positive. Again, this kind of goes back to what I've said before in the past. Daisy <laughs> needs more stuff like merchandise, and that isn't just shirts. It needs collectibles. Mm -hmm. And I might be just a super fan, but mate, I want collectibles. I I, I, I want that bloody. Yellow King, that's on top of my wardrobe, safe and sound. I want to keep him. <clears throat> fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Christmas, which we'll get to. Yeah, Mission. you're right. <laughs> Bohemia doesn't even have their own merchandise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it bloody uh, doesn't. Uh, uh. But, uh, 
There are a couple of oil paintings available. Ruffy boat is cool. I I would love to get one of, like one of those oil paintings. Like I would. I was actually looking online on eBay. Uh, for. You know the compass that's in Daisy, the metal one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You, there's a few people in in the UK that's actually selling them for like eighty to a hundred pounds or so. Okay. They're either the exact like model it's based on, or something similar to it. But yeah. Very good. Mr. Frankie said, "I saw someone post saying how prox chat and card. It's people spamming the N word." I wonder why it doesn't happen with DayZ voice comms. I just think we've got a better community. You're just not playing on, you know, those kind of servers, my guy. I've heard all sorts of stuff. Changes a man. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a better community. But no, the, these, um, these, these, uh, the comments for the, the post, really nice overwhelmingly positive and really supportive, which I really like in this community. And another couple of things, not just dioramas that people post, but it's, it's, it's silly stuff. It's silly, silly stuff. You, Cobra, have you heard of a guy called uh, Bald and Bankrupt? No, I can't say that I have. Right, so he's... um. He's a YouTuber that would travel across Eastern Europe. Um, he would do videos of him just traveling around, visiting places. And oh, okay. he's he's British, but he speaks like fluent Russian in uh, like other clever. Eastern European languages. So he kind of like blends in. Um, he's just started going other places. Really recommend his videos. He's been to um, he's been to Ukraine quite a few times, and he went to. Um, near Chernobyl a couple of times. Okay. And there's two videos, like, a couple of years apart. He visited this family that was, like, I, I think it was in Ukraine. Spoke uh -huh. to them a little bit, had a laugh with them. They invited him inside, gave him food and all sorts of stuff. Went, went on his merry way. Then after COVID, he went back, and they were still there. And they recognised him and they welcomed back in. Oh, very and, good. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was really awesome. Really awesome. Is that Boydie? Boydie's in chat. Hello, Boydie. My guy. Yeah, I did see that. How you doing, mate? Well, we keep him well, Boydie. <coughs> Much love to you. But, uh, but yeah, so I post this link as well in chat. And it's just titled Bald and Bankrupt and Chinaris, teaser of upcom upcoming comedy series by... Bail Thor Septus. 522 volts. That's so, that's so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Did I see a bike back there? <laughs> yeah. It's the only bike that'll ever be in Daisy. <laughs> mm. But uh, again, positives are absolutely. Uh, the comments were really positive, well, apart from a couple. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was it was great. B&B <laughs> Gopnik, yes. He's really... He's, I, I personally enjoy his videos. I've, well, they all short little ones, are they? No, no, they're not. They're, like, at least 30, 40 mini... May, maybe... Fin <sighs> The long videos. <laughs> Jesus Christ, lad, Jesus. But yeah, no, they they are quite long videos and the, the very, you know, they're pretty good to, like, just sit down and watch. They're essentially vlogs, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Freddy. Yeah. But they're really interesting. Um, He got arrested on one of them. Well, <laughs> it's always interesting, isn't it? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> but, um, and then this one, this post by uh, our very own uh, Sawyer Crowd. I get scared easily. Oh, I've seen, I've seen a little boy, bit. A flying yeah. boy, a trappy <laughs> boy, a trippy boy. The four most <laughs> feared things in Daisy. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I, I I looked at this uh, earlier on and I was creased. I saw it in the podcast Discord. 
and then I was scrolling through the subreddit looking for stuff to like you know kind of like talk about like nice li little things neat little things and uh missing neat boy from ladders yeah but I came across this and I was like are you kidding me and yeah you got two, over 200 votes Trippy boys are way better now yeah they used to, they are better now that's for sure you're right there, Frankie. Backpacking in Europe. Love it. Love it. One day, I'd love to do that. One day, I would absolutely yeah. love to do that. A few more years away from me yet, but yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're fine. What are you on about? Got nothing to worry about, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then this video here, which I just... I watched before, and I was kind of contemplating, should I even like include it in the show? But we, we watched it together, and... I was creased. So the video is by Sharkbite400. Uploaded three days ago. And I'll post this in chat as well. Showing this good. Oh, so I am. That's fine. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to preface this video by this guy deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. I've seen this. Yeah. He looked at it. He stopped, Bang. stared, <laughs> and he looked yes. at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, now, what bloody set it off? Because I couldn't work it out. He's, he's, he's clearly tripped it the he second he's gone in. But it the, the time delay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's, let, yeah. Let, let, he gets let's... trapped on the door. He gets stuck on the door, goes through, and then he's standing still when it goes off. Look. Trap, trap, trap. He's stuck. Stuck. There. Right. So look. He's already on it. He ain't moving. <laughs> oh, he does. He does. He does a little shuffle, doesn't he? Yeah, he does a little shuffle. Yeah, I missed that the first time, man. <laughs> He's looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in that position, yeah. I would be like, "What the? Oh yeah. my god, I am backing up, not going forward." <laughs> <laughs> you, you silly boy. <laughs> Yeah, that is uh, that is an interesting one, isn't it? So he's actually gone in looking at the grounds, and then missed it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you well, looked, you looked directly at that landmine, then proceeded to step on it. He deserved it at that point. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> you can't argue that one. No, you, you actually uh, cannot. And he and he responded, "I'm literally a human punching bag at this point." <laughs> Oh my god! All I, all I can think of is that yeah, sure his his toe was on it, but it didn't actually like. It didn't. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not the center of mass of his character that yeah, actually yeah. went to it. Well, that's and interesting that's... as well, isn't it? That's interesting. So if you actually break it down to the millimeter, <laughs> what percentage of your foot actually has to be on it? Because he's got some of his foot on there. So it's that little shuffle that pushes him over. That little millimetre in it. Uh, yeah. There's Wobble's next video idea. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't full health either. That's why he's died. Yeah, because otherwise you'd survive it, wouldn't you? Mm. You'd just be knocked out, broken legs or whatever. Yeah. But even so, <laughs> could have avoided yeah, you, you it. can't. <laughs> you can't argue the fact that he's actually filmed himself looking at it <laughs> and then sell it off. So yeah, fair enough. I, I I would be completely underst it would be understandable. It'd be like if he continued on, didn't look down, I'd be like, oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then no, he looked down. I, I I've got no <laughs> I got no uh, sympathy for him. Daisy right. down awards. Yeah, he's he's number he one. He needed there. that. Yeah. Matt Z, thank you very much for uh, becoming a member for five months. Much appreciated. Thank you. But I just. Yeah, I'm glad I I I I am glad I I put it on the show, but Jesus, what an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> but um, but obviously before we continue on, 
uh, boy, you put this uh, to me. So just kind of want to briefly talk about it just a little bit um, about the Christmas episode. So we've got a couple more stuff um, hashed out, a couple more things. And as you may know, well, I've already shown you the um, the uh, the figure, which I am not getting down. It's staying there until it's getting sent off. <laughs> it's been safe. And there's also the um, the plaque that we got done earlier this year. But we are also going to be giving out, uh, giving away a Namask record, the vinyl. Uh, I'll be getting one personally. <laughs> Um, the new presenter is Cobra. He was a guest uh, previously. Um, it was at least a couple of months ago now. At the very oh, least. it was a while ago now. Yeah. Hi, Matt, by the way. Good to see you. <laughs> and um, yeah, so uh, and, uh, Dom Gra left. So we invited Cobra to come on. And it's been it's been awesome, actually. It's been really, really nice. It's been fun. Hell yes. But, but good to meet you, though, Matt. I don't think we've met before. So uh, no. hello. But uh, but yes, yeah, so we've also um, so like I said, we've also got the uh, the Namask final record that's going to be given away as well, uh, and um, and also we're going to be getting stuff which uh, Prestige has uh, has done before. Let's see if I can get we'll the post. stuff. No oh, way. Oh, right, it's it's great, dude. Ah, oh. and Prestige is going to be making a couple of these oh, bad boys, the pens, the pox, the morphine, and the appy pen, and I believe the actual pens as well. Drugs, poggers, pog. <laughs> Those are the ones. <laughs> yep. So they're really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, got, those are going to be introduced as well. And as well, before I forget anything more, come in and protect the case from Daisy. As well as a um, Windstride clothing pack. So we had that, uh, I believe, last year. So we're going to be doing that again this year. We're going to be working with Windstride to get that sorted out. So... Looking forward to the Christmas episode. Looking forward to more of the giveaways. If you want to contribute more to the Christmas episode, let us know. And we'll see what we can do to help accommodate and make it an even better episode. Uh, it hits uh, either myself up or Boydie. And we'll get that arranged for you. Good stuff. Are you looking forward to the Christmas episode, Cobra? It'll be your, it'll be your first one. Our first one, mate. Yeah, I'm uh, very interested. Are we going to have to dress up in some kind of... God damn Christmas tree shite or I mean not. I mean last year last year Mark's um he just stuck his camera towards his computer and it had like a reflection of like Christmas trees or something like that. So if cool. you want to do it, you can do that. I'll be wearing an ugly sweater. I'll be wearing an ugly sweater, definitely. Uh I'm not going to get the stuff out now, Boydy. Uh I wanna keep that stuff safe. But I'll be posting pictures in the next week of stuff in the Discord for people to know what's going on. But uh, no, I'm really excited for your your first uh, Christmas episode. And it'll be your first uh, Christmas episode as well, Lemons, won't it? Oh, yep. Hell yes. <laughs> A lot of firsts around here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the elf. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra the elf. Yes. No, but uh... That's not happening. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> Fucking elf. <laughs> I think I think Lemon should have ever gone on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The, the the second time you'll stick his uh, webcam on, go. it'll be dressed up as a full elf. <laughs> this is your chance like, to wear that kilt with lights. Lights not wearing pants, you can't stand it right now. Shush, 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 shush. Shush, I've got to be comfortable when presenting this show, all right? Shut up. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, it's going to be a great Christmas episode. I'm really looking forward to it and getting more stuff set up for that. It's going to be great. Really looking forward to it. And Cobra, there was um, 
we kind of talked a little bit before we start the episode, but there was a server you wanted to kind of talk about. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, right. Now, guys and girls, mm-hmm. people into role-play servers, I'm sure some of you have heard of this, but Ceasefire. Ceasefire is the name. Um, I've played this um, over the last, I don't know, year, really, on and off. It's a really, really cool. There's some very unique and interesting characters on that server. I'm not going to spoil it for any of you that uh, want to go and check it out. But um, let's just say the server itself looks so, so good in terms of the colouring systems. Um, It's predominantly um, greyish skies, but with a little bit of a tint. And uh, it looks so cool. It looks really, really good. It's not dark, dark, but it's... um, it's certainly a, a, a bit a bit different. Um, it's one of the longest serving RP um, Daisy servers still going, and um, they've got some really cool mods on it. Now, it's not um, overly modded. There are some on there, and mm-hmm. I think really it, going back to what we were discussing earlier, especially what Lemons was saying around the um, the older type of law stuff, um, it definitely has its own unique perspective some of that mm. on there so for me personally i think it's a great server it's normally very well populated for those that want to go and have a look please do go and check it out i'll probably see you on there absolutely yeah i'm checking the server out now ceasefire i play role play no killing on sight yeah 57 out of 80 and the first mod i see on there is my lighting over <laughs> oh they've got your mod on haven't they now, yeah. I didn't know that, to be fair, because they didn't have it, obviously, until mm. they uh, you recently allowed it out. So, uh, yes. I'm going to have another dedicated server to play on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. Only playing servers with your mods. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's just egotistical. I'm very egotistical. No, I'm not. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, but no, I'm I'm actually really excited. I I've, I want to... I'm going to try that out. Um, see what it's like because that's the thing there's different types of ways to play the game mm. to get different experiences and you've got to have an open mind you got you, you just absolutely got to I mean there's no point in restricting yourself to one type of server or one type of gameplay absolutely freshen absolutely. things up a bit you know there's, there's that kind of game where you are able to and you it's entirely possible so take advantage of that get I mean don't forget me. You may well get to a point where you get, you know, we all have it sometimes where we get a little bit stale with our kind of servers that we prefer. And you have a couple of weeks off or a month off or whatever it may be. I did that. And when I first went on, this was over a year ago, and I first went mm-hmm. on to Ceasefire, it really, really did bring a different side of the game. Now, I played RP before, but mm-hmm. that particular server was something special. Now, bearing in mind, I wouldn't, uh, me and Lad are having a bit of a discussion on this before the show started, around making sure that we've, um, you know, if we're going to shout out a server, we need to make sure that we've looked at it, you know, over a period of time and it's not got any silly stuff going on, like admin abuse or whatever else. But this place here, I mean, I've known it for a year. And I'll tell you what, everything's good. Everything's good. So, yeah, I'll see you on there. (laughs) Absolutely. You know what? I might actually pop on there tonight. After the show, I think I'll actually give it a shot. I'll try out. Um, I'll try out Namalsk because I really like Namalsk. Mm-hmm. But we'll see how it goes, and uh, maybe I'll tweet about it. Actually, yeah, let me know what you think of it, man. Because I, I love it. I think it's great. You know, mm. and it's one of those I do go back to. You know, I I don't play it all the time, but I do go back to it every few months. Yeah. And there's not many servers that I say I can do that about. You know, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely, definitely. What about you, Lemons? Have you have you been have you been actually been playing Daisy that much lately? Have you been too busy? I mean, been doing? I'm a bit biased. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. But actually, you know, other than like the uh, stuff I've been doing with like Zagoria, I have been playing on the um, the day one servers. Right. Ah, uh, okay. yes, yes. And the endure servers by uh, Rackaroo as well. Those ones are pretty good. The what servers, sorry? The uh, the Endure servers. It was the uh, Rakaru released them pretty recently, actually. Mm, I've not Con- played that yet. Oh, uh, is that console only a PC? Uh, PC. Oh, okay. Oh, I need to have a look at that, mate. I need to have a look at that one. 
What's uh, oh yeah, what, no, they're what pretty good. Go for? What's the style? A bit more of a hardcore experience. I, I it's first person locked, okay. and it's a very like it's a fun experience. It really tries to kind of. Uh, I think they have a Namalsk, an Essaker, and I believe Livonia, or they might be releasing Livonia, but. Really strong community, really fun community, and um, Rakru like streams on it very frequently too. So he does a lot of stuff with the community, which is always good to see. So you gotta love it. Mm. Sounds interesting. Definitely have a look at that. Yeah, I mean, if you got any, there's like server info. Um, oh yeah, can... I'll throw the um, I'll throw the Endure Twitter up in the uh, chat. Mm -hmm. What's up with Stalker Z? I've not played it yet. No, I've not either, to be fair. No. I did look at it last week, mm -hmm. but I didn't play it, so... I've been wanting yeah. to, because um, I helped them with their lighting config. And uh, I don't know if they... I don't know if they ever implemented it in the end, but we did go through that quite a lot. So... I want to find out if they have indeed done that. And if they have, get in. But they've got two servers out. They've got one for, like, roleplay. And then they've got one for, like, kind of like PvP. And mm -hmm. both are doing quite successful as far as I'm aware. Stalker Z yeah. is crazy. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's, like, such a unique experience. And, like, I, yeah. that's, like, years of work right there, too. Like, that's it just... Is. I mean, I, I remember... I remember playing it before COVID and like I was with a couple of mates and we were role playing and one of them didn't take it seriously the, uh, the rest of us were, were kind of taking it seriously we spent so much time in um in the first village trying to get as much gear as possible much m m as much money to to pay somebody to lead us to the city and we had to like run through like the valley because in we had to stick right next to the wall because of the radiation. We had to like pop. Oh, it was, it was great. It was so good. It was great. I want to play it again now. Oh, I, I need to get on that. I need to get on that. And I, wanna... I need to play yeah. it now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to... next next time you stream wanna... it. Well, that's it. I was just about to say. Come on, next time special. you wanna you wanna <laughs> play it, and I'm like around. Hit us up and we'll play it together. More than happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. As he said, I'm addicted to CHFs, Chinaris has fallen. Good server, to be fair. Hardest server I've ever played. Very rewarding, though, when you survive. Yeah, I can quite agree to that, to be fair. Have you played Chinaris has fallen? Yeah, no. I have. Quite I, the I, sucker for the mm. um, the overgrown environments and like yeah. the just mm. the survivor camp stuff like that. I mean, yeah, we know. Biased, I love but... it. <laughs> no. but man servers like that are just like amazing because just the detail they put into it and all yeah. the builds they've done on that server as well are just ooh. I'll the take it cases. that is PC isn't it it's it is yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 I've not played that I need to have a look at that as well so I've got three on the list from today that I need to go and check out mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely but uh yeah I just say you know what it is? I haven't actually played Daisy properly in so long. I think I need to. I think I'll spend this weekend doing that. <laughs> Wait, I've just spent the whole week filming season uh, six of the official servers. So I've literally just, I've just, I've done all it. Now I'm waiting to finish the editing and that should be out tomorrow night, hopefully. Fingers hopefully. Crossed. If not, it'll be next Saturday. It all depends if I can get the rest of the editing done or not. But uh, that'll yeah. be another five part series. But uh, there we go. We'll see. Mm. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Speaking about... The question is here. Mm. When is Lad going to be releasing his own mouse server? Oh, there you go. <laughs> He's still fucking thinking, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so is, is that the answer there, Lad? Is that... I'm not, or he, what? He, lo he loves the mouse so much. But he doesn't have his own Namal server, man. We got it. It's got this guy come out. Then he can stream on it too. Look at that chat. Drop some, drop some lad champs if you want to. Uh, lads the mouse. <laughs> or even better, lads winter chinaris. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Lads. You, you lad say died. that. You say that. <laughs> yeah. 
you you do know that I'm working on my own Winter Generis mod, right? Yep. That's why you should host it. Host your own server for it. Mm. Perfect demo. <laughs> <Yeah>. See, <laughs> I want... I want to do my own Namask server. I've I've been kind of interested in hosting my own server, but the problem is I don't have that much time as it is. And when you're a server hoster, you shouldn't really play. Cause mm. you know like you've got that unfair I agree advantage. With that. I do agree with that, yeah. But at the same time, it's Namask. Dude, like, oh, I haven't even been to Lantia yet. Like, since the new update. Yeah, that's shocking, mate. Shocking. Just think of all them tickets you'll have to deal with. I'll just tell them all to fuck off. Mm. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it, mate. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I've thought about it so many times. I was like, you know what? No. No way. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. What did everyone think of the Lights Out event? I'm going to be a bit naughty here and admit I didn't watch it because I was at work. Oh, I haven't and seen I've it either. I have not been able to catch up on it. I really do apologise. I'll try and catch up on it. I heard it was a. I heard it went really, really well. We'll see. We'll see on the server though. Maybe. I have actually looked up server costs. <laughs> uh, there you go. It's, yeah, like you can get a decent, well, I say decent one. You can get like a semi all right one for like maybe 50, 60 quid a month. Mm. And I'm like, oh, should I do that? Should I? Oh, I don't know. Mm. Oh, I have got my own, <laughs> but I've just not let it get populated. <laughs> I've passworded it. <laughs> <laughs> I left it. <laughs> so I'm like, should I? Literally no. gathering dust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinematics. That's how I use it at the moment. Yeah. But, yeah. It's Melbourne's birthday today. Bruh. Happy birthday, Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy Much birthday. love to you. How old are you now, Melbourne? How old are you now? Love you, stinky boys. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I no, believe I he turned 24. 24, mate. Mate, you're a baby. I can't say I'm 26. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, you can see the grey hair, mate. Don't even ask me that. Jeez. No, 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 no. It's just an aesthetic. It's fine. <laughs> it's character build. <laughs> no, but happy. I was going to say congratulations there. <laughs> Happy birthday, Melbourne. Hope it, hope it went well for you, mate. Congratulations on being born. Yes! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, moving on to like yeah, more community stuff, um, at least you have hair cooled. <laughs> Thank you, Brick. Poor, <laughs> poor Orgy. <laughs> poor Orgy. <laughs> <laughs> he came out running, bruh. Poor shift key, <laughs> but uh, but, but you, you wanted to talk about um, another thumbnail that caught your eye. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, actually, there are several by Nev. So, I was checking out, I've sent you one, mm -hmm. uh, um, which you can put up, obviously. Now, the link, let, lad, let me send you over the link so you can put it up as well. Yeah, hold on two seconds, paste. There you go, there's his channel. So, I was checking out thumbnails from Nev. Now, one caught my eye this week, which is his latest video. It's such a simple thumbnail, and it doesn't quite look exactly like you would expect to see a Daisy type thumbnail, but obviously it is Daisy. And then I went into his channel, had a look at some of his... I mean, he's got some fantastic thumbnails. I mean, I'm looking at, what, three, four, five, six... There are at least seven on his first page you'll look at. That are just unbelievable. I have to zoom in because I don't know how to look at thumbnails properly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at the uh, if you look at that on the right hand side there. That's that's a thumbnail laugh. That is. I quite like that. That's nice. And as you go down, there are some more really detailed. I mean, that one on the left there. I mean, 
That's the quite a bit of work. Do we know who's good. making these uh, thumbnails? Like, is it or is he actually making them himself? Or right, I I'm going to reach out to him and just ask him. So I'll report back for next week. But um, I don't. It looks uh, without. I don't know Nev. So it looks to me like a professional's doing them. It um, looks very similar to the style that. Um, have you ever heard of? I think it's either Play Guy or Playboy or something like that. Mm-hmm. He was one of the winners of the uh, Graffiti Z contest. But uh, it looks very yeah. similar to his style of thumbnails. Right, 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 right. So it's very, it's it's not his kind of style that they're going for. There's not an awful lot that look exactly like this out there. There are a few, obviously, he's got that do, you know, kind of have the same kind of themes as several others. But I mean, some of the the style of some of these thumbnails are really, really cool. I do like them. Actually, I might even tap him up for his artist if it is an artist. And if not, I might just say to him, make you do me a thumbnail. Yeah. That's what I might do. <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, that there, look at that one there in the grey. Uh, the one you just had. Go down a little bit, uh, lad. A bit more, a bit more. You literally just had it. A bit more. Uh, that one there. There he goes, holding something in his hand. He's got the um, um, yeah, vest on. Plate carry on. That's it. That yeah. That's a thumbnail. That is a thumbnail and a half, that is. I quite I like that. I quite like these style of thumbnails. To be fair, yeah, it does look good. And if you notice on some of them, it's literally, unless you look at the title, you're not going to notice Daisy. The top one you are, but yeah. I mean, obviously, by the kit, some of them you can tell. Okay, we're back. OBS crashed, crashed again. I really. I would. I have a issue. Yeah, shut <laughs> shut up. Be quiet. Is is chat coming through? Guys can you hear us. Bless you. Thank you. So oh. can you guys comment in chat if they can Oh Let's... yep, no I can hear you guys on the uh on the stream. Right, good. Coming through. Yeah, it's just chat. Oh god. Yeah, so uh... How did I break it? I didn't break it. It wasn't me. It was LBS being a twat. So, shush. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It completely crashed OBS. I, we're gonna, I'm going to have to take a proper look into it. Could be one of the transitions. Could be something else. I don't know. But we'll get back. We'll fix it at some point. Don't need to worry about that. But it was actually quite weird timing because we were just about to finish. <laughs> <laughs> we were just about to finish the show, guys. So, uh, obviously, before we do finish off, though, properly, spotlights. What's been your spotlights? Cobra, you first. Well, I'm going to go with... What should we go with this week? Come back to me in a second. Okay. Lemons. My guy. Spot. The community. No! <laughs> Can't say the community. No. <laughs> One person I want to uh, shout out who's been really making his uh, making his move in the community is uh, Receding Man. He's a console Daisy streamer, and he does a lot of um, server showcase videos where he goes over and uh, reviews servers and just shows off all the amazing stuff being done in the console community. Absolutely okay. amazing guy doing some great work and I don't know who else I would want to uh, showcase because he just or who better to showcase than him because he's just he's been given so much love to the console community these past few weeks mm. absolutely I'll throw I've... his uh, channel here in the, uh, in the please chat please do have you guys absolutely. heard of him I've, I've personally no. not heard of him but I'd love to get to know him a bit more absolutely okay it's been more than a second, Cobra. <laughs> okay, so um, I didn't really want to put this out at the moment because it's probably going to be better for next week. But there is a set of servers that I have started to look at called Basically Vanilla. And that is my highlight for this week, spotlight for this week. So I've been on there a little while, and uh, this week that is. And uh, everything about it is really really cool and i'll probably talk about it next week so for me basically vanilla full pop all the time 
That's it. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Very nice. Intriguing okay. enough to be like, ooh, more info coming. Very nice. My spotlight for this week is the community. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> it's actually a mixture you of two. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, could do. Sp like an actual like spotlight with the word community in there. That'd be great. <laughs> like a like a showman kind of yeah. thing. Oh, I, oh, I want that done. Uh, so I kind of want to spotlight two people. Um, one of them is Ariana, and I know I've kind of spotlighted her a few times, but the Kings of the Castle event is tomorrow, as far as I'm aware, uh, from the posts that I have seen. I believe it is tomorrow. Uh, she's been posting quite a bit about it. I'm actually going to double check so I know I'm not talking utter shit. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I, I do think you're right there, lad. It is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it is. Or was it Sunday? It's oh, Saturday go. and Sunday. Uh, okay, okay. So, yeah, it's going to take place all week. Uh, all weekend, I should say. Uh, mm -hmm. Tomorrow and Sunday at 3 o'clock. Yep. And, you know, it's been anticipated for quite some time. Apparently, it's been a, been a couple of dropouts already, but it is what it is. Um, But... I'm excited to watch it, and hopefully I can actually get enough time to sit down and watch the event. Um, I'll just God forbid. <laughs> oh, stop it. So I'll post the tweet here so you guys can check out the roster. And really, really, really looking forward to it. Can't wait to see the results. Can't wait to see how it all goes. And I can't wait to see Ariana's next event. And if you've been keeping up with her social media, apparently she's an elf for Christmas, and it is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, I did say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for her, but it's like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and my second one is because of that bloody video, Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that video. It's so bonkers and silly. And <laughs> you know what it is? I've actually kind of got a soft spot for those kind of videos where that like people all people that just put like the, the logos on of character faces and, and, and it's just all like names and that. I love them. I love I don't know why, but they're just they're so sincere. So uh, thank you, Rath, for making that. It, it it means a lot more to me than you think. And yes, it's a silly video, but it means a lot. Thank you. The uh, the better not shoot my fucking red nine again. <laughs> but with that I want to thank everybody so much for coming along to the show. I really, really do appreciate it. It's been absolutely fantastic. Cobra, Lemons, thank you again so much for coming on the show. And I will be speaking to you next week. Same, well, not same time, proper time this uh, next week, nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, next week, nine o'clock, we'll be back to normal, uh, normal time, and we'll see you there. Take care. Take Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Bye-bye for now. And that is us.